Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hauntai Star Rail session. In today's session, we will we'll actually uh, start focusing on the... Uh, I mean, start, that's a big word, but let's just say that we'll continue um, from last time, which means we switched to Aventurine's point of view. And uh, we are able to actually play as him for a while, which is nice. Yeah, last time, uh, lots of things unfolded. Um, from what I can tell, uh, the Astral Express crew sided for a time with um, a vent train, right? And um, Welt had an interesting conversation with Acheron uh, due to the fact that uh, apparently she had she can have some inside info regarding the the family. And yeah, uh, her and Welt are going to stay in contact. And as it turns out, since we went on our separate way. I now have a way to, well, switch perspective, switch point of uh, point of view from uh, the well, the trailblazer. And so now we are actually focusing on adventuring and what he's been doing. And as it turns out, we are in a new area, which is the Dewlight Pavilion. And we are in the company of a uh, dear Dr. Veritas Ratio. Um, and yeah, we have to meet the head of the Oak family. Let me read you what it says. So, double indemnity. Head to the family's council chamber and face Sunday. Because of course, we have to face Sunday. Uh, you two have successfully solved the puzzle about the Nightingale statue. Oh yeah, the Nightingale statue. Now oh, that's that's interesting. Um, I mean that was interesting. After walking through a narrow and long hallway, you find yourself in a luxurious classical hall. You two will get to meet the head of the old family with the odd name after passing through the hall. So yeah. That's what we are going to focus on today. If you're on the side of YouTube, then uh, I would highly appreciate if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're brand new, also activate the notification bell so you never miss a video, a Hontai Star Rail video from me in the future, and of course, while you're at it, why not come over at twitch.tv forward slash forever where you can get all this, uh, well, interesting reaction coming from me regarding the story of our Astral Express crew trailblazing through the cosmos. And this time around, in Panatroni, I'm sure we are in for a doozy, so to speak. But yeah, without further ado, guys, I guess it's time to jump right in. Let's go. So yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So the team now is composed of Ventrine, obviously. Robin, Black Swan, and Huahua. I I want to see everything. I don't want to miss anything. That should be I mean that should leave precious intel behind. So, Robin's poster, right? What if I said, you're so beautiful, please stay for a moment? Alright, fair enough. So, I don't remember quite well what I'm supposed to do here, but I'm sure that I will have um, some answers <laughs> later. Have I been here before? Yes, I did. What is this anyway? 
What is this thing here upside down? I don't know. Anyways, let's head forward. That's <laughs> weird though. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now, I remember. I didn't want to cross this path here. Okay. Now that makes sense. Alright, let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Huh? What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? Hmm. No, but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? <laughs> it's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open the door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's only fair. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. You don't? <laughs> I would have I would have thought that you would have already had a lot of savings. Did you how much of a gambler you are, adventuring? It doesn't seem like it, it works like that, I suppose. Alright. Let's have a look. I mean, just, just want to talk to Virgin Manager right now. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go then. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. <laughs> I believe you're right. <laughs> there wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. <laughs> Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I was I was already here. I think I know what they were they were looking for. That was the thing that I was looking at the middle. In the middle, yeah. Found it. This is it. Alright. Um how am I supposed to go there though? Oh, okay. I like how the music changes when you switch from a wall to another. Yeah, there you go. We're going to get attacked as soon as we cross it. Or maybe not. I was so focused on the test, so. Doesn't matter too much, I suppose. Changing beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> okay. Let's use. Let's put up some more teeth. Going all in. Tabs on me. What would you like to know this time? Let's do this. The seal of ill fate descends. Do we have to fight? I of course. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody help me! 
I like how it has a, a rebound effect on uh, the other enemies nearby. All right, I'll call your bet. I'll call your bet. <laughs> Don't ask, just then. Again, the ill tidings manifest. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. There you go. I'm focusing on the the, the follow-up attacks or the Arcana uh, from um, uh, Black Swan. And that's how you do it. Next. Also, to anyone pulling for Firefly, uh, well, I wish you good luck on your pulls. I hope for an end to strife in the world. Yeah. Too bad it's over, but that's how it goes, I suppose. Um. Some more defense here. And uh let's go. Hmm. What's the cognition? Okay. Alright. So do harmony it. will soon play in unison. Going all in. Tabs on me. <laughs> the seal of ill fate descends. Maybe I can do this. All right. Um. How should I? to know this time again the ill tidings manifest Hmm. Yeah. 
going all in. Tabs on me. This is only the oh, first of wave. Course. your bets. <laughs> Again, the ill tiny manifest. Rise so up into my No dirty tricks already. Going all in. Tabs on me. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. <laughs>
right, I'll call your bet. Going all in. Tabs on me. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or... Maybe I'll take it all. Again, the ill tiny manifest. Wait, my beaten cosmos, please. Tonight, the stars echo because of me. Take it off! All in! The threads of destiny aren't chosen. The seal of ill fate descends. Going all in. Tabs on me. Huh. May song bring us victory. Huh. Okay. Oh, that was something. Right? A reward with no risk? I'll take it. So you were supposed to get around this. All right. It does make sense, I suppose. Now I have to come here. Mm. There's a Hanouf. Here. Interesting. What is that? What is that box? Oh. Doesn't seem like it's required to use it. All right. Um, let's use Hanu. Uh, maybe the box is for Hanu. There might be some boss stone. 
like minions here. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Come on, Hanu. Don't let me down. What's this? Hanu's Adventure Part 6, sorry. Uh, Boston's minions will experience true calamity when Hanu gets his Hanu launcher. As they can aim at an enemy, hitting the fire button will unleash the Hanu rocket then consume ammunition. Enemies will drop ammo after being defeated. If one round of ammo hits multiple enemies, more ammo is dropped at once. If Bravo Hanu has no more ammo left, we can return to Hanu launcher's position to unlock the Hanu rocket again and replenish one ammo. Okay. Nice. Interesting. Use the Hanu rocket to ignite the fireworks. It will trigger an explosion that defeats enemies and is even capable of destroying walls. Nice. Edition of Hanu's Adventure. Look at the sandpit clue in the treasure room. A lot of origami birds as well, how that I think about it. Here, and then 
a precious treasure. Fortune follows luck, just like it always does. All right, and this. Oh, and the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. Gulliver's Arch. Okay. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. <laughs> Let's return to the lobby. Alright, I'm back here. Juicy rewards. I don't know if there's anything else achieved. So this was for Hanu, right? To get blood out of a stone, transform into Hanu, and see you and use Hanu Roger to defeat Boss Toad's minions for the first time. All right. Well, with that, uh, Hanu Roger, Boss Toad's minions won't be too difficult now, I suppose, unless there's some. Interesting tricks ahead of us. Uh, insert Delver's Arch into the slot. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. <laughs> oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? <laughs> I think I know. Maybe shrink? 